you think I'm hiding something from you? I don't want to think that. Kendall. I was calling Kendall. Kendall. Yes. I saw this thing on the news about a baby tiger at the zoo, and I just had this impulse. To tell Kendall about the tiger? Yes, I wanted to see if she wanted to take Spike to the zoo. <laughs> you and Kendall at the zoo. So who would feed the other to the tiger first? <laughs> Call me crazy. I thought it would be, I don't know, fun. You wanted us to reconnect. Why did you hang up so abruptly when I walked in? She didn't pick up. Her voicemail came on, so I lost my nerve, so I hung up. It's the truth. Baby tiger, super cute. Drinks from a bottle. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Check my call log. Go ahead. It's all right. I'm glad you're reaching out to Kendall. I want you to have friends. I want you to be happy. I miss her. I mean, until that dinner, I didn't even let myself think about how much, you know, so much has happened. And... She was like a sister to you, right? That's why what you did, helping us break the ice with that dinner, meant so much to me. And why I want to help you now, because as much as you know how much Kendall means to me, I know how much the hospital means to you. You know, in the middle of all this blackmail, you asked me to trust you. If you won't even try to trust me, you might as well end this marriage now and turn me into the police. You know that's the last thing in the world I'd ever want to do. More than anything, I want to be with you, Greenlee. And for you to want to be with me. Come on. Take me to breakfast. We can read the paper and eat eggs benedict like an old married couple. And then we can go check out the tiger at the zoo together if you want. How would I know why Marissa left you? You two are friends, right? She confided in you. For all I know, you got in her ear and you convinced her, made her believe that I betrayed her with Annie. Yeah? Why would I do that? Maybe you figured if you made things difficult enough for me and Marissa, I wouldn't come after you for the nanotech theft. I wish I could help you here, JR. I are. bet. Hey. Hey. Are we waiting for you downstairs? What, what does he mean downstairs? You can't wait with him right now. We're going to look at houses today. I know, I know. We will, I promise. Okay. Scott, we cannot start our marriage off on the right foot if we are living in this house. Not with all the tension between you and JR and me and Marissa. Yeah, well, who knows if Marissa will even come back? You don't think she and JR will work things out? I hope so. Marissa. I just I came to see AJ. Well, the Conways took him and Kevin to the park for the day. Okay. Wait. You know, we can't save our marriage if you keep running away. Don't you want to move past what happened? I'm, I'm just not sure if we can. Okay, you saw me and Annie together. And I know what you thought, but you also told me that you believed that nothing happened that night. Mm. Hey. We can get back what we had. It's not that simple. You've had to be the strong one. When I was sick, when I let you down, you, you held the family together. Allow me to be the strong one. Let me show you what you've always shown me. Love and, and loyalty and, and, and faith. Okay, stop, Jer. Just stop, please. I just can't do this.
anything I can do not to try and stop her. Went back to him, huh? Well, I told her to do what she needed to do. Well, I was really hoping that she would cut her losses this time. Yeah, she'll come around. She'll wake up. It's already started to. Excuse me. Well, hello. How about a two-top for two of my favorite people? Hey. Mm -hmm. well, actually, we're going to order to go. Oh, okay. All right. How you doing, babe? Well, I can see your smiling face. The day's young. You keep the faith. The clothes look great. Yeah, they're perfect. I should be able to hide a pregnancy for a little while longer anyway. Yeah, I just hate that you have to hide this wonderful news. Yeah, well, I can't risk David finding out. You know, maybe there's some legal loophole that can house that snake before you even have to deal with the board. Well, if you think of one, call well, I, I don't know that I can, but I just might know somebody who can help. Hang on, just... Caleb? Yo. Caleb, come here. I want you to meet a couple people. Please. <laughs> come here. Uh, this is Angie and Jesse Hubbard. Meet Caleb Cooney. How you doing? Hey. Palmer's nephew. I've heard, heard of him. I'm sure you have. I heard you rescued Erica Kane after a plane crash. Uh, I just gave her some survival oh, tips. Oh, come on now. Don't be so humble. You are the reason that she is alive. And he's also a Cracker Jack attorney. He was. A long time. Oh, come on now. No. Marissa says he's the rain man of law. <laughs> <laughs> What's a rain man? Oh, that's right. I guess you didn't get too many... Uh, Tom Cruise movies up on the mountain. Tom Cruise? Uh. <laughs> Caleb was a contract law bigwig, and I think he just might be the man that you need to drop kick David right out of that hospital. Now, hold on a minute. No. Would you tell him how David's making life hell over there for the patients and the staff alike? Not to mention ruining the reputation of the entire hospital. If something isn't done soon, the place will go under. Are we talking about the same guy that people say sabotaged Dorothy's plane? Dar? Erica. I ain't even gonna touch that one. <laughs> but if you can help us get this guy out of there, we will all owe you big time. Has anybody in this town ever heard the words not involved? Nope. You're here. You're needed. Get used to it. He'll help.